Grocery stores and markets work hard to put beautiful produce on display, but when it comes to fruits and vegetables, ugly and imperfect is gaining a following. Well, there's a growing trend to promote buying imperfect or ugly produce to avoid wasting food, and fitness expert Jody Trierweiler is here to show us why it's gaining in popularity. Hey, what's up, Jody? Hi, guys. Hey, how are you today? Great. Great. Jason was dancing, just so everybody it's, knows. It was, it was the energy drink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this cause is meant to spark a conversation about food waste in this country. It's absolutely disgusting and ridiculous the amount of food wow. that is getting wasted every year and it starts on the farm. It really? starts because the standard for food is such that aesthetically it has to be so beautiful or the stores won't even purchase it from the farmers. I had no idea it was that serious. So it is, one out of five pieces of fruit or vegetable goes to waste that's every year. Mm. And so, oh, that's ugly. <laughs> so I found a company and this is just an example, but this okay. is called Imperfect Produce. Okay. And I have to say, I don't know what your expectations are, but when I ordered the box, it's about 30% less than what you would pay getting these items at the store and I was nervous. Right. I thought this is going to be gross. I can't wait to see how disgusting. So we're going to open the box and reveal together what you get from produce that would not have been able to be sold at the store. Okay. okay. This did not meet standard at all. Quote so, unquote beauty yeah. standards. So here's the first. It's a bunch of kale. Kale looks, it looks okay. Like it, kale. The only yeah. thing I could figure is the stalks got broken off. All right. They so this would have gotten, gotten thrown out just because those got cut off. Okay. Okay. So this. To me. We were talking about pepper sex earlier. What happened between? Pepper yeah. Jesus, take the wheel. What's going on Boy. here? That's. Oh. Help us. So what happened with this one? It's just it's discolored and they don't know whether it's green or red, so they're gonna toss it. But I think that they makes it interesting. It does. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Jeff, wouldn't you do something with that? Yeah. It'll make like a absolutely. beautiful dish or a garnish. Let's keep pulling out pieces. All right, pieces. let's go. Yeah, let's, we're looking here. Cucumber looks perfect. What is wrong fine. with that cucumber? Nothing. Mail Now, this one I'll give Regular. you. Regular. Okay, look at this guy. So just because it's curved, it won't fit in the bin at the grocery store and it's going to be garbage. So crazy. Nobody would buy this from a farmer. All right, so this lemon I looks perfectly fine to me. I think kids would dig this. It's like a smiley face, right, Kevin? It is. <laughs> but look at this lemon. I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't even have a guess. I'm going to guess the, the stem. Is it okay. the stem? Yes. I don't, I don't know. I don't yes, know. Jason. Nice. I don't know either. They don't tell you what's I mean, wrong with it. They just a, send it to you. A beautiful like, pepper, and it's just missing the stem. Yeah. I guess this is just a smaller than normal onion. How much this, did you pay for this entire box? Well, the boxes range from $12 up to $50, depending on how much it weighs and the size. Okay. But, um, what you can do is customize the box. Absolutely, you don't have to just get random food like I have here. Keep pulling stuff out. Let's keep yeah, looking I mean, at like, it. Look at this pepper. He, it's a little gnarled up, but it's perfectly fine. I would think like, look, it has a little red on it, some green, you know, yeah. do something interesting with yeah, it. Yeah, it's totally know. edible. So they also have dry goods and you're looking at this going, okay, I know this brand of, of rice. Why the heck is this in the box? Because they have over 200 different dry goods. It will get thrown out maybe due to expiration date oh. where they can't ship it or this was not quite tricolored the okay. quinoa so it didn't meet standard for color but there's nothing wrong or there with could have been a labeling stuff. change from the company where they didn't want to continue to sell under the old label and they would just discard the products that's crazy but uh, but you're stressing that there's nothing wrong with this produce absolutely there's not. nothing wrong with the dry goods absolutely not it's all healthy it's safe to consume like here's an example this plum has a little bit of discoloration on it right. if you could see that and so it would just go right into the trash I mean, and you can easily peel that if you don't want to eat the exterior. What is wrong with this spud other than the fact that it looks like a, like a mummy? <laughs> That's they funny. don't allow mummy spuds in the grocery store. <laughs> no, That's no, the main no, thing. No That's so funny. Yeah, so other reasons that food may be discarded is that it's just undervalued. There's not a big demand for it. Find the little avocado in there. Or there was, like I said, a packaging change. It could be too, look at how small this avocado is. Yeah. So this doesn't meet standard because typically stores are charging a price per avocado, right. not per pound. Right. So, so who's going to get this one because you're going to get ripped off? But to throw it away? Would be wrong.